All right, so we're turning our attentions now to the Tema port where uh, the Integrated Customs Management Systems ICOM takes effect today. And my colleague, Josephine NJJ, was at the port to gauge the mood on the first day of takeover, where we understand that hundreds of freight forwarders and importers besieged the long room at the Tema port to picket against the deployment of the Integrated Customs Management System ICOM. More detail in this piece. The Integrated Custom Management System, iCUMS, took effect at the port and at the Kotoka International Airport. Importers and freight forwarders began to throne the iCUMS centers, unable to complete the process upon accessing the new system. Few minutes after, the number grew with more forwarders demanding answers. So I just saw you rushing to the help decks. What are you going to do there? I went there to inquire on on the level of my process but what where i've reached i'm choked so i went there to ask them what i should do and they are telling me that i should go back and start the whole thing again i'm uh, my container too is on demorage so if i go and then i couldn't complete the whole thing that it means i have to pay another charges again and it will, it will be my cost the importer won't pay I just came here to just try whether my TIN number with a new system that we, ha we have will work or something like that. But since morning we've, we've came here, we've been asking questions, nobody's willing to give us proper answers. Because the new one that we are using, when you put the consignment TIN number, it's not working. So behind me is one of the help decks that has been instituted and designed by ICOM officials for the start of the program so that freight forwarders and clearing agents will come in here with all their questions for them and their issues to be solved. But currently, as we have been here for close to an hour, we have been seeing no more than 100 of freight forwarders who have come here with issues, hoping to get help. Tension began to build up with many of them gathering and disregarding the social distancing protocols. But now you are the people something facing the problem. Oh, no, no, no. I've applied for CCPR, the CCPR is in. I've applied for the ZMC, GIVC, ZMC. Everything has uploaded. I've paid for it. Frustration set in with more massing up. By 12 noon, the numbers increase, leading to the expression of dissatisfaction about demorages, which will accrue for importers to pay. A delegation made up of the Minister for Trade and Industry, Alan Kojo Tremantin, the Commissioner of Customs, the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority, and the Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry arrived to inspect the system. Angry forwarders began to chant songs. The Commissioner of Customs, Colonel Retired Kojo Damwa, attempted to calm tempers. Ladies and gentlemen, you are important stakeholders in this whole business about clearing goods. We have come here to appreciate you. We know the good job you've been doing. We have given information in the past few weeks and to some extent members about the changes that were about to take place. Now, today marks a different milestone in your operations. We are aware that if you start any new thing, you are likely to have one or two challenges. So we concede that some of you genuinely have some concerns. That is why we have moved all the way from Accra to you, to listen to you, and then find solutions to your problems. Josephine and TV3. Talk about throwing social distance into the gutters with that heat at the ports. But being the first day, let's see how subsequent days will turn out with the new icons on board at the ports.